Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Aki on humans, if you're so inclined. A well, word, if you would. You're using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the order. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoop how? Whoop how? Nary oh, curriculum. Boy. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. <coughs> oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are.
I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. Word. Word, dude. Yo, yo, merch. This the true. Who's your audio? Beauty? Ah, there you are. Funny dude, right? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. My makes boy. a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, that seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Rapero. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Reparo. Rapero. Oh, Rapero. This is the Reparo. right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelia. Come on, my dude. Lumos. Pavelio. Lumos. Pavelio. Yeah. 
Pavilio. Revelia. Class is this? Oh shit, there you are. Yo, yo, come back. Come back, my boy. Bag, bro. I got that in time. I want to get it out myself, too. The flying page must be around here somewhere. A cutie. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, the people I'm hate sorry you. the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone be friends? would come to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written the story are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken yeah, my no gobstones and hidden you. them in very high places all over the school. He's spitting them all over their faces. Oh, rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. 
anyway. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Well. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Rapero. That's it. Very good. Reparo. If you'd like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It don't, don't worry about it, my boy. Heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. <laughs> Oh no! I'd better keep an eye on high like, places around oh, the school for no. Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah. Let's go. Reparo. Reparo. Bueno. Yo lo que. Amiguito, ya tú sabes, repero. Well, fancy meeting oh, no. you. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I'll beat your butt, my Speaking boy. Of Weasley, beat it up. Have taken quite a shine to you. 
Pesci? That's nice yeah. to hear. I'm still yeah, surprised hey, that a yo. professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Hey, yo. Spend a lot of what time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. This is fire, bro. Hold up, bro. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner. Preparo. As is often the case. Coño. Professor Weasley came to save okay. me. I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Bueno. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay. Look, like Bin Forest. Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Mire. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still have told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. You guys doing good? You guys doing good? You guys doing good? Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first hand too. Most so my boy, I'm a little fascinating. Watch me, watch me pass the rest right now. of your year isn't as eventful. Then will die. I'm gonna hit this man. Wow. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. That's a mushroom, Hello, my Moon. boy. Have you met our new fifth year? Oh. Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. I'm about to pass my boy, I'm about to pass my boy. I pass- Yo! Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Yeah. Kitty. Know you like that. My oh boy.
So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Listen, now I'm one at a time. Let me get that, my boy. <laughs> Where do I have to go to? The to visit to Towns and Scrolls. Towns and Scrolls, I think it's over here. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Weezy. Let's have a Thank look. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Oh, don't worry about it, my guy. I will. I will. Oh, yeah. We got some pretty good stuff here, man. I like it, man. Give me some of this. Hey, 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 hey. Well, why cost so much money? Too much dinero. No, I don't. I don't need your stuff, bro. Too much chabos, too much monies. About to just come back around here and just take a few of this stuff. You know? That's it. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. Chabos. Mm -hmm. Chabos. Mm -hmm. Chabos. Mm -hmm. 
don't know. You feel me? Yo, yeah, what you looking at, bro? What you looking at, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, consider taking a photo in the base. I'll be right with it. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, you got Hello, the scrolls. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Olivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. You keep grabbing green oh, ones, but then you got a blue one, a red one. Where are you? got a you? red one. Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. A purple one? Another yes. green one, bro? I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. I like that. I like, I like How the intriguing. Oh, this one. Oh, nah, that one looks fire. Curious indeed. Okay, okay. I want to go I'm not gonna How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious 
curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a call with a strong sense of initiative. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. You're a Go look for a wand. Well, let me go to the back. Let me go to the back. Come on, man. Come on, man. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And 
I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Yeah. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Pow! 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 Let me hold this, man. Good looking, man. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. You got a score? Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I can actually afford this, my boy. I'm not gonna buy none of your stuff, man. Cause I'm broke. Broke. You know what broke is? As me. Broke. Oh yeah. One more to go, man. So all that the effect on okay. Over here. Yeah. I like that I can call in the water like that. Some well, big pumpkins, man. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively really Got a long beard, my boy. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me, let me hold us, man. Do have a look around. Looking out. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Revelio. I I see that man. Let me, let me get that man. Good looking. Man. Go looking. Yeah. Dig all. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go run over here. Man. Yeah. We're getting woman. How you doing? Shorty. Shorty yardy. Shorty yardy. Let me bet this cat real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I know you like that. Yeah. Yeah. Shorty Yori. Is this a Shorty Yori? Oh, no, it's not. It's a, it's a dog. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, yeah, let's fight this door. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? We, we out here. We out here, man. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, hit him. Hit him. Bow. Draw it away from the building. Away from the building. Yeah, yeah, you goblin. Oh, let's get it. Oh, let's get it, my boy. Let's get it. Oh! I can dodge now. Let's go. Oh, yeah, what's up? Oh, you 
I like it, man. I know. Let's do it again, man. Let's go get it, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. We we got this, man. <laughs> Yo, let me put this cat real quick. Yeah, yeah. I know you like that, man. Did he even meow at me? I officially have meow. all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see well, what let's else we can get up to.
Let's go. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Boss. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's I'm beard. a troll. Are you all I'll right? be trolling. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind hell. helping me put a few things back to where they were. Look of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I'm gonna get rob you then, bro. Like, hey, what's here? I'm gonna just take your stuff, bro. What else is there? Oh guys, I'm in the Hill was just right praises. You just talk to this guy real quick. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce and the gameplay myself. right here. First boss. Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. And not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Hello?
go. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Well, guys, that's about it for today. And let's go ahead and...